Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. We're talking knit along today. <laughs> and yes, I am here with Knitting Natter to help you knit with ease, confidence and joy. And that is exactly what we have ingested into every knit along. We are knitting with ease, confidence and joy. It is so lovely in a knit along. I do hope you join us. I'm here with all the information. No matter where you are in the world, you can join us. And today I'm going to talk about the finished items, the yarn that we're going to use and all the materials you need, the skills you're going to have um, as you knit, possibly before you knit, but definitely after you knit as well. Um, and of course, how you get in. <laughs> so we're going to talk about all those things today and I'm so excited to share with you what we are knitting. We are knitting cosy mitts which consists of two patterns. That's exciting. Um, now these are brand new patterns again, and that's generally what I do for knit alongs. Sometimes we repeat old patterns because you absolutely love them and we just want to knit them again, and why not? But in this one we're going to do new patterns and we are going to use the same yarn that we used in the Mix It Up Blanket knit along um, in the autumn. We have the beginner mitts, let's start with them. These are plain mittens. We do not have a thumb. We stop at the thumb, but we're shaping for the thumb. Now that's an interesting new skill you may need. These are the medium size of the beginner mitts. The beginners, we have medium, we have small, and we have large. Now the large ones in the photographs Nick is actually wearing them because they are big enough for him. So you can knit them for all the family. These small ones will probably fit a six, seven year old just as equally as they will fit um, a small adult. If I put them on, if I had just slightly smaller hands, they'd be okay. But I have had children that young wearing small adult mitts before and they just want to wear them and they're fine so a knitted fabric has a great way of just having a little, that little bit of stretch and equally especially with a cuff it will hold on hold in place if it needs to so these small ones will knit children of many many sizes these are ideal for me i love knitting wearing these um I can't tell you how many pairs of fingerless mitts I have now. I love adding different colour and having a change when I leave the house. It just brings joy, especially in the colder, darker months. So, yes, we have the cinnamon ones there. And I also knitted them in what you can do with the leftovers. These stripes. So those are from leftover yarn once we've knitted up the rest of the mitts. This is something you'll find you need different amounts of yarn, of course, for the different sizes. And with the larger ones, you'll just go over the 50 grams and into the next. So you'll have leftovers for that. You can either knit the stripy ones with all the leftovers or fit in a small pair with what's left from these. So those are your beginner mitts. And you can leave them plain, like I have done with the blue ones. Or you can add embellishments, and I will talk more about embellishments in the knit along. And we'll talk about this kind of thing as well on YouTube too, so you'll get some insights into my ideas for them too. Now, so those are the beginner mitts. Also, I told you we had two patterns. Well, you may well have seen the photographs of the cable mitts. These are actually the big size. I have a red pair that I'm wearing a pair of gloves underneath. So I'm wearing red, large, and I have a pair of gloves underneath them. I'm wearing gloves because they're practical. They've actually got rubber spots on them so I can grip things. And at the moment, well, as this goes out in the last couple of weeks, it's been particularly cold compared to a normal UK 
winter and I've needed gloves on as well as mitts but most of the year I will just go out with fingerless mitts because in the UK it doesn't get that cold. In the rest of the world these may be ideal for autumn and spring transition months. They may also be ideal if you want to wear them like I do at the moment with gloves underneath. It just gives a bit of colour, it gives a bit of pattern, gives a bit of interest and it's an easy knit. I bought the gloves from my local shoe shop. It's a beautiful old shop. Uh, it's been there for decades and decades and decades. Family run, independent, absolutely love it. And if I ever need socks or gloves, that's where I go. And funnily enough, I bought slipper boots there as well in the autumn because it was so cold. I wanted to keep my feet warm. Beside the point, cable mitts wear gloves underneath them if you want to and that's the larger size that I've been using for that purpose in particular. We have a smaller size as well. Now I've only done two sizes in these because I got to a point where I thought you know what that's small enough and we'll talk about how you can change this slightly if you want to in further videos but you can make it slightly larger too. It's an option. Now these are the medium sized, small size, but they are ideal. They fit me perfectly without gloves underneath. And these are ideal for ladies. Nick could wear these. My brother actually tried these on at Christmas when I was testing the pattern and he said they fit me. <laughs> I thought, okay, I definitely need a smaller pattern. I thought it was just me thinking they were a bit big. So that is the medium size. And the cabling edge adds extra thickness. These are called mirror cable. They are a one ball knit. These just use slightly more than the one ball but hey ho, like I said, stripy knits please. And what I love about this knitting actually is that it's so mobile. I've put this in a bag as I've been knitting them up for samples and for testing the pattern and I've gone, you know what? I'm putting this in a bag and I'm taking it somewhere. It sits in that tiny little bag with the short needles. It just goes in a different room with me. I pack it up in the little bag, tiniest little thing. It's like an old makeup bag. It is a makeup bag. Um, and this is really good for tying it away at the end of the day, rather than thinking, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff there. It's overflowing my knitting bag. It doesn't have to, you need a small bag and it can go perfect for travel too. We're going away um, in the next couple of months for a short break and that is the bag I will be using. I will be taking a short a knit, a small knit with me with a couple of extra balls of yarn. Why not? So I can repeat it. This is repeatable too. I love this. It's very much a repeatable knit because you're going to have people asking for them which is, means they are ideal for gifting. So. I have knitted fingerless mitts for years for gifts. The one thing I love about gifting any time of year is that you can start knitting whenever you'd like. Once you've finished, it's finished. And then it can sit there and you'll know it's done. It's a wonderful, wonderful knit. And I hope you'll love it as much as I do too. Right, that's enough spouting about the actual finished item. Let's talk about the yarn. Now I have another one on my needles that I'm actually filming so I can show you the grey as well. This is the granite. This is Rowan Felty Tweed Allen. Like I said, it's the same yarn that we used for the Mixed It Up blanket. So I have all the same colours. We have the pine green. We have the sea stone, which is a beautiful peel colour, teal blue colour different to the pine. I slightly see the difference there. So that's pine green. We have red somewhere. There you go, cherry red. This is sea salt, sea salter blue. And uh, you can tell where they chose that colour because it's like a oceany blue with a dark blue with white surf spots in it. And that is carbon grey. We then have cinnamon and stone. 
so there you go those are the eight colors that i have you will have if you buy the kit you will have a selection of those it will be a mystery kit so pick your kit and you will have a beautiful surprise everyone loves a surprise at christmas and then january is oh god it's january it's cold it's gray what am i doing have a surprise on your doorstep if you're in the uk get a kit you'll absolutely love it so those are the colours, those are the yarns. Now, we need, you've seen, I've told you already, we need short needles. We're using five millimetre needles. That's the stitches on the needle, so it sits quite happily. And you can move it along when you've finished, during the day if you want to, to store it away. Those stitches are not coming off the needle. That's one, another thing I love about this knit. We need, Cable needle, of course, and stitch markers. These are optional. I mean, always with cabling. Cable needle is optional too. Not many people want to cable without a cable needle, but it is an option. Stitch markers will help mark out the thumb if you're afraid of forgetting where it is. Personally, I've knitted so many I don't need them now, but you may find for the first few pairs you want them, and then you don't, that's okay. Um, we also need a stitch holder, but to be perfectly honest, I use a thread of yarn for a stitch holder. And it is a lot less cumbersome when you're knitting, especially with a small piece like this, to use a thread of yarn. So I would suggest that instead of getting out your stitch holders. Metal stitch holders that hold a lot of needles, uh, stitches, are much better for items like jumpers and cardigans where it's actually going to sit there with the stitches on in your knitting bag while you're knitting another piece of the cardigan because that's what it's for and then you join all of the stitches together and knit them differently or you sew it up or something or you seam something like that with the stitches that's what stitch holders are for in a much bigger way Use a piece of thread when you can, it's so much easier. So that's what I do. Now, anything else? Of course, you're gonna need a knitter's. Now this isn't, of course, these, they're knitted on straight needles. I absolutely love seaming fingerless mitts, especially when you're cabling. If you are not an advanced cabler, you haven't done cabling for a long time, cabling, on straight single pointed needles is so much easier. You will not lose track of which row you're on. You will find it much easier to say, this is a cabling row, that isn't a cabling row, because you're on the right side and the wrong side of the knitting. And there's nothing wrong with seaming. It's a very short seam. It's good practice, especially if you're seaming other items that you're knitting. and. I put these on and like I said, families worn them. My sister's feedback has been, I didn't notice there was a seam, is there? So don't worry about it. You'd think it might be too bulky and unwearable, but honestly, if anything, it keeps you warmer because there's a bit more bulk down the side of your hand. It's fine. Nothing to worry about at all. I actually like the idea of learning different ways of doing things. And this, if you've only ever knitted on circular needles before, and you've always avoided patterns that have seams, try this, see how it feels. It may feel like an easier knit, try it. Come in and see what that feels like if you've always tried circular knitting and always veered towards that. Try this single pointed needle knitting, you may well like it. Now, inside the knitalong, what do we get? We're in there for three weeks together. We are there from the 2nd to the 25th of February. Third, sorry, the 3rd until the 25th of February. It's a private forum. Um, and that three weeks includes four weekends. So it's three, weekend, three weeks and two days. <laughs> um, you've got all the video tutorials. 
and they are step-by-step -step videos every single point of the knit I'm knitting with you and talking about it with you and rambling sometimes because that's what I do in tutorial videos <laughs> in knit alongs and it's all very well focused towards you being able to knit it and feel confidence in that knit so that's there for you q a now this is a big one the q a thread is there ready and waiting for your questions i'm in there daily as often as possible now you know i've not been well in the last few months and i've been actually coping with long covid um since march 22 so that's something I have had to miss a couple of days occasionally and obviously in the winter when I was in hospital I had to miss as well but my intention especially as I'm actually feeling better having had so so much rest in the autumn I feel that while long Covid is still there and I still do have tiredness and naps and things I feel that I'm much more able to manage cope and answer comments and things so that's something i totally intend to be there daily and if i'm not do you know it's just because i'm really having a down day and a tired day and i need not to be there but i'm there answering questions ask your questions i will answer them the skills you need cabling if you're a cabler if you're already a cabler this may be a new cable to you let's put it simply you're going to build on what you know as always you have the tutorials there to help you do that, to feel more confident in your knitting. In the beginner knits, let's just take a look at the beginner cable, beginner mittens. These are plain. They can be completely plain if you want them to be. That's that. Or you can add an embellishment if you want to. If you're a sewer, you could go completely crazy on the back, do all sorts of embroidery on them. Go for it. This is where you get to be your own creative become the creator plain knitting is just ideal for this just like you knit the stripes because that's different that's something that no one else has done with this pattern go for it do it well not only that it makes it identifiable which hand goes into which men whose are they that makes them unique. Let's do that. Let's make them unique. So that's an option. They can be completely plain. We use knit and pearl stitches. We do shaping here for the thumb. As you can see, this is very much a hole for the thumb rather than a knitted thumb. Okay? So it makes it easier, but it's very do doable for a beginner knitter. Very, very doable. You may be completely learning new techniques as you're making the thumb but why not you're just embracing what you know feeling confident in that yeah i'm a knitter perhaps you've been knitting for six weeks since christmas you know what i'm already a knitter this is great i didn't realize how far i come now i can try something new there you go so those beginner mitts will be ideal for just taking that extra step and if you've been knitting for a while you knit a couple of these and you go I fancy one of them just to make it easy and to be creative on the top now one thing I haven't told you about is the fact that not a lot not only do you get the pattern you get a pattern guide because we are following patterns we are following cabling rows and shaping the thumb and all that sort of thing so the pattern guide comes next to it and you literally tick off each row as you knit it if that really helps you then use that every time you knit one of these copy the page in your digital file and tick it off if you want to you can print off every time you want to knit the mitts and then you just go phew knitted that row knitted that row i've knitted those three rows now i'm on this one that sort of thing can really help you as you move through the pattern we did this with the rainbow cowl mitt, uh, the, sorry, the rainbow cowl, the pattern guide was actually really helpful in that knit and it was very much loved by those in the knit along. This is the kind of knit which could really 
be really benefit from pattern guide so I've made them not only for the cable one but for the beginners too so there you go you've got them as well now your confidence in your knitting is going to grow over those three weeks because of all of the different things that we're doing inside it but let's just get on to how you get in early bird prices are here until Sunday this week so you have until next Sunday the 28th of January I do believe you can get your kit if you're in the UK, if you're worldwide, you can join with the digital option. And that means that you get the pattern, you get the forum, you get the tutorials, you get everything that the UK kit knitters as well do as well. Um, and that means you're in, you just have to source your own yarn. The early bird option means that you have a lower price. So get in before the end of this week. And we may be running out of kits by then. You've only got so much yarn. I've only got so many kits. So do make sure that you get your kit while it's still available. Because that's important. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I need to say. I have said so much. Um, I will just say one thing. Now, you helped me with the unboxing last week. You watched me unboxing. Was it last week or the week before? I knitted something with some of that yarn. So if you do not have access to the kit, that is something that you might choose. It is the Noro Malvinas. I really love knitting with this yarn. It's the perfect yarn for this. And you can pick whichever colour you like. But look at that. It's 100 grams. It's... 150 grams, so you can probably make three pairs with this, maybe. You never know, you could well get three, three pairs out of that. Weigh them, this is a tip, weigh them when you finish knitting the first pair and you'll know how many left you can get out of the rest of the yarn. So, it's definitely something to think about too. Which yarn could you use? Got on my email list, I'll send you a few suggestions. And once you're in, the, um, the there's a download there to help you prepare for the knit along. That is ready and waiting to show you the yarns that you could use instead. So get on there. Once you're in, I'll give you a few suggestions as well. Okay, right. Thank you for being here today and do join the knit along. I'm so excited about this one. Running in February, let's just poke our heads out of the hibernation period and go, you know what? Let's knit together. Let's just wonder maybe about whether we're ready to come out from the cold winter. <laughs> so February's going to be great because we're knitting. Just remember that. February's going to be great because we're knitting. Okay. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, the link is in the description to join the knit along. No doubt about that. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting. <laughs>